My name is John Fisher. I'm an associate professor and associate chair in the Fischel Department of Bioengineering at the University of Maryland. Our research team is primarily interested in regenerative medicine, so trying to get your body to regrow tissues in either a place or in a time that it wouldn't normally do so. So uh, a simple example would be skeletal muscle. So that we're talking about the muscle that you use every day. Our lab has been interested in trying to regenerate muscle tissue, but at the same time we need to work with uh, investigators who are interested in building peripheral nervous tissue. Similarly, we might work with others who are interested in vasculature or blood supply. So we're trying to make sure our, our tissues get a sufficient amount of nutrients um, from the body like our circulatory system provides normally and, and every day. A lot of this work came out of the chemical engineering field. We're really trying to think of clinical solutions to problems, so trying to build materials or build cell-laden materials that can be easily implanted in, into the body and get the body to, to regenerate tissues quite quickly, regenerate bone tissue quite, quite quickly. You slowly, as you work in a lab, slowly gain an appreciation for the financing of, of a research lab. You find that um, not, not all labs are, are financed the same, not all are, can gather resources to the same level, and it really has a dramatic effect on the output of your, of your work. I mean, we essentially run a small business in the umbrella of, of a university system. So we, we fund all the, the graduate students, we, we fund their, their salaries, their benefits, um, postdocs, um, undergraduate researchers, we pay for, for research supplies and, and overheads. The National Institutes of Health, the National Science Foundation, they're premier funders of, of fellow research. And uh, I mean, without them, I think we lose a lot of the, the leading capabilities of, of the United States. Americans just have an inherent attitude or approach of trying to put things together in a, in a new way and to really push the limits of what can be done. I'm very optimistic about the growth of, of science and technology in, in the United States.